हेलो एवरीवन होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग वेल वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैथमेटिक्स बाय डॉक्टर एंड आओ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डील वंस अगेन गॉस सीडल मेथड इन माय प्रीवियस सम लेक्चर्स आई हैव स्टडीड गॉस सीडल मेथड विद वेरियस मेथड्स लाइक मैट्रिक्स मेथड्स और लाइक इटरेटिव मैथड्स सो आई विल पेस्ट द लिंक्स इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो यू कैन सी देयर सो बिफोर गोइंग टू द डीप स्टडी विद दिस सिंपलेस्ट मेथड टू फाइंड आउट द iterations of given system of linear equation with the help of gauss seidel method i request each and every one to subscribe the channel and like and share the videos among your friends and students and press the bell icon also to get the further notification so now guys i i come to my content and there is a uh, question solve the following system of linear equation विद द हेल्प ऑफ गॉस सीरियल मेथड तो आपने कुछ नहीं करना वी नीड टू डू ए स्मॉल मैनिपुलेशन सीयर फर्स्ट इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप वी री राइट द गिविन सिस्टम ओके वी री राइट द गिविन सिस्टम ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन द गिविन सिस्टम ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन एज okay from the first equation we face the value of x that is x 9 by 10 right and then or we can write it as very simply 1 by 10 and 9 minus 2 y and then minus z right and then from the second equation we write the value of y is 1 by 20 and minus 44 Minus twenty minus forty four minus two x right and plus two z. From the third equation, we face the value of z, right? So it will be one by ten and twenty two plus two x minus three y. So guys, we need to solve this system of linear equation, and as we have discussed. the background of the fund uh, the background manually in the previous lectures so you can go through there okay what we need to require first initially initially we consider we consider initial approximation set x0 y0 z0 is equals to 0 we consider this set as 0 okay and then what 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 about the solution how will will we find the solution with the help of gauss seidel method obviously first we find x1 okay how will we calculated x1 so x1 will be calculated when we put in place of y y0 and z0 so as we have calculated x1 so x1 will be supplied to x1 will be considered the new value of x0 so or modified value of x0 so we will use the modified value of x0 here that is x1 not x0 we will not use here x0 we will use the modified value of x uh, x0 that is x1 and we have the old value of z Uh, and new value uh, it is same okay z0 right so it is it will give you your y1 so in case of z1 we need to calculate now we have calculated the modified value of x0 that is the x1 so we will put here x1 and again we have found the value modified value of y0 that is the y1 so we will use here y1 and then simply we repeat this process here we repeat this process and the desired accuracy results obtained okay so by this process we will find the first set of approximation similarly to find the second set of approximation what we need to do we uh, need to do as because we have the first set of approximation so with the help of first set of approximation we will find as x2 that is how it will be calculated it will be calculated with the help of y1 and z1 now for the y2 
since we have modified value of x1 that is the x2 we have calculated modified value of x1 that is x2 so we will use here x2 not x1 then in play uh, with z we will use z1 because we don't have the modified value of z1 at this place so what about the z2 so z2 will be calculated we have the modified value of x1 that is x2 okay and for y we have the modified value of y1 is y2 so we will calculate here y2 so we will repeat this process repeatedly until the desired accuracy root is obtained so what about the what about the calculator calculator uh, programming for that okay so how we will solve this with the help of calculator okay so first of all i will try to give the notation it as i'm the begin okay and i am trying to make it simple with the help of calculator we consider x as a right according to the symbol of my calculator y as b and z z as uh, c right a b c and what about these values these values from the left hand side consider it capital x and capital y and you can write it here capital y and capital m right z will be considered as capital m so how we will solve this obviously initially we will take the set as x0 y0 z0 0 means the value of a and b initially a b and c will be considered as zero right so what will happen according to the gauss seidel method when we calculate the value of capital x with this set of parameters okay so x it will be calculated as simply i am writing here in terms of this capital x is equals to 1 by 10 9 minus 2b minus c right and capital y will be treated as 1 by 20 it is just for the calculator programming okay minus 44 minus 2 and x you know uh, now your x is calculated above so you will write here capital x and minus c as it is right so now what about the value of capital m so capital m will be calculated as 1 by 10 and 22 then plus 2 what about the small x it will be calculated as capital x and what about y so y will be calculated as capital y let me fix the problem okay come on so y y what about the y so minus 3 small y will be treated as capital y okay capital y so it is the programming actually okay every time you need to change the value of abc then you will get your solutions now come on i am going to design a table here and it is very easy right and number of iteration will go there and here we will find the value of a b c right or you, we can say iteration is xn or y n or z n okay for n is equals to 1 we will calculate here x1 first set of x a uh, first set of approximation similarly for n equals to 2 we will calculate second set of approximation so what about the programming here okay i am i'm going to program program the code here so for the uh, coding uh, i will type here capital x so alpha x or we can we can type here direct x okay x is equals to what about that is 10 means point 1 bracket start now 9 minus 2 alpha b okay 2b and minus alpha c 
now bracket close okay then press the colon sign here right and then type y so it is you know uh, what about the y okay so y the symbol should be here y and then equals then uh, point uh, one, 1 by 20 1 by 20 what does it mean means point 5 or point uh, point uh, you can write it as 1 1 by 20 also 1 divided by 2 0 okay so now come on what about the uh, bracket that is a minus 44 and a minus 2 alpha or there is no need to type alpha you can retrieve direct x here okay from by pressing this so minus 2x and minus c right alpha c okay now bracket close now press colon sign here for the third part and press m so what about the value of m so m will be as right m equals to 1 by 10 that is a point 0.1 now bracket is start then 22 then plus 2 and x right and then minus 3 and then y okay y now bracket close now press calc so initially you have to choose the value of i'm right um, initially you have to choose the value of abc right so initial approximation i'm writing here initial approximation set is a equals to 0 and b equals to 0 and c equals to 0 so initially when we type when you press the calc here so it will ask the value of now it is asking the value of b so it is showing also the value of b is equals to 0 that's good now then press equal okay now what about the value of a right it is showing the value of b is equals to 0 very good what about the value of c it is also 0 okay and press equal so uh, it is showing 0.9 what about the value of 0.9 so it is the value of x1 that is 0.9 right then press equal right what about the value of y1 that is showing minus 2.29 again press equal it is showing the value of m okay now it is quite easy to solve 3.0 3.067 in the next step second iteration the second or set of approximation will be as this value of a and the value of b and the value of c now come on change the value of b and value of c only now press equal it will ask the value of b so value of b there minus 2.29 again press equal the value of c will be 3.067 now simply press equal and find the value of x2 so the value of x2 will be 1.0513 and again press equal then you will get the value of y2 so it will be minus 2.45848 then again press equal you will get the value of z2 that is 3.147804 now come on in the next iteration that is the third iteration also the b value of b and value of c will change so what about the value of b that is minus 2.45858 and then press equal so what about the value of c 3.1 4 7 8 0 4 then press equal so what about the value of x the new value of x is 1.07693693 and 58 58 
and then again press equal so what about the value y that is minus 2.465 465 and 08376 08376 then again press equal what about the new value that is 3.1549122248 so simply you will type again the value of b and c and you will get the new set of iterations so come on and by this process you can find very simply a number of iteration as per desired accuracy okay now i'm going to solve the another iteration also so i'm going to change the value of b that is you know minus 2.4650837 then press equal what about the value of c that is 3.1 Five four nine one double two four eight. Then again, press equal. And the what about the new value of x? The new value of x will be as one point zero seven seven five seven seven five two double five two seven double five two seven. Right. What about the new value of y? That is. Minus two point four six five four six five and four nine eight one six five, right? And what about the new value of Z? That is Z three, the Z four. That is three point one double five one five four triple five. So you can process. You can repeat your process up to the desired accuracy root is required. So you will see it is correct up to the two decimal place. Every parameter has been corrected up to the two decimal places. So you, so you by this process you can find easily up to ten or eleven or twelve it number of iterations in few minutes. Okay. So I think you have enjoyed this method. So I request each and every one. to subscribe my channel okay and thank you very much for watching the video see you in the next video with interesting content thank you very much